everyone. Welcome into the Flippin' Hippos YouTube channel. I'm Star. Today is Monday, June 20th. Because it's a Monday, you know what it's time for. What sold on eBay? Just like every week, guys, we're going to start with the plush. I do show you each and every single plush that sells every week because plush is my favorite. This is kind of a plush-centric channel. And then after I show you the plush, we will walk through some of the highlights of the week, some of our better selling items, whether it's because it's higher priced or has a fast sell through rate or both. And that way you can kind of learn um, what you should be looking out for when you're outsourcing. So let's just jump right on in with what you're looking at. This is a yellow Labrador Retriever by Kurto Toy. This came in a wholesale lot. I want to say it was one from Greg, but this is very much an older toy, so I don't really remember. I just remember it came out of a box um, that had a bunch of plush in it. He was new to me brand. I would say if I found this for 50 cents or whatever at a garage sale, I'd pick it up again, this brand. Um, he sold for $13 on a best offer. So, yeah, this would be like a 50 cent to a dollar bread and butter brand. He shipped first class. I mean, he's super cute, but he's not like a huge polo. Next up, we have a Hobby Lobby pink elephant. I picked this up at the Goodwill a couple years ago in Pittsburgh. Um, 50 cents. I recognized Hobby Lobby, and I thought it was a cute enough elephant with hearts. Um, this sold for $15.99 $15 and shipped first class. Here we have an Aurora Penguin 12 inch plush. This one I got at Goodwill as well. It was 50 cents. I thought it was really cute. I've always done really well with penguins regardless of brand. I think that there's just folks out there who really like penguins and look for them. Um, just like with any animal, but this is one of the more popular ones I think, or more often sought after. This penguin sold for 13 on the best offer and shipped first class. And if you're wondering why sometimes some of the plush takes years to sell, that's actually pretty typical for plush. Plush is extremely long tail. It is one of the slowest selling categories on eBay. It's slower than clothes. And so you just have to be patient with your plush and it's normal. So like a clothing brand that you think would flip within a month or two months. I mean, that's in plush world, that's the equivalent of like six months. But once in a while, you get something that moves real fast, like this Sesame Street Cookie Monster backpack. You guys just saw me pull this out in my plush haul a couple weeks ago. He was only listed for about a week or two before he sold. So once in a while, you will have um, plush that will sell very quickly. Oftentimes, it's because it's a very rare plush that's hard to find or a very, very good character or brand that just is not oversaturated. There's very few of them out there and the collectors are looking for them. Once in a while though, like this Cookie Monster, um, they are a dime a dozen, they're oversaturated. It is something I always pick up though. I do well with all the Sesame Street characters. Um, but sometimes you're just in the right place at the right time and that goes with clothing as well. You could list a pair of jeans that has a hundred different you know listings on ebay yours is just one of a hundred and you could be listing them in a size that someone is looking for and it just happens that you list them at that moment because you know when you list new items on ebay they get pushed up in the searches uh new items always go up in the ranking so if someone's online shopping right at that moment and they're looking for it it can happen anyway he was in that lot we got i said they were about two dollars a piece um per plush in that lot, and that includes shipping and everything. Took about best offer of $15.15. He shipped first class. All right, next up we have an Orvis women's blazer. I just um, talked about Orvis in a haul video that you guys haven't even seen yet. I just realized that. But I did pick up an Orvis shirt a couple weeks ago. Um, that haul video will be coming out tomorrow. But Orvis is a good brand. I really like Orvis. Whenever I find it, I pick it up. It's rare. I may find one or two pieces every few months. I used to find it more often in Pennsylvania, but 
This is also linen blend. Linen is one of those materials that you can charge a little bit more for. It's a little bit more sought after. So this Orvis blazer sold for $23.62 on a best offer. And it did ship first class. Um, this came from the Goodwills about two bucks, I believe. Sorry, it came from the Salvation Army. So many thrift stores, they start to become interchangeable in my mind. Dress Barn, women's coat. This came out of a thread up box. Usually our stuff from the thread up boxes are about $1.70 a piece. A little bit less or a little bit more, depending on how many pieces in the box. And if we had a coupon for free shipping or whatever. This is a 1X. Good size, plus size. I always tell you guys that these jean jackets and denim jackets to me are just like the denim booty shorts and cutoff shorts. Even the poop brands will sell for a lot of money and in a lot of instances for more than even full length jeans. This is a good example. Dress Barn's a poop brand. I would never source jeans or anything else in this brand, but the plus size denim coat sold for $29.99. It did ship in a padded flat. Levi's 525 Perfect Waist Straight Jeans. These were a really fast flip. I got these a couple weeks ago at Salvation Army. Um, I think they were four bucks half off, maybe a little bit less. And um, you can see right there, it says Perfect Waist Straight or Perfect, yes, Perfect Waist Straight 525s. And they're size eight. Eight is a mid mid range size. It's usually a little bit slower and harder to move. You're going to do really well with the small sizes and the plus sizes. Um, but these sold within a couple of days of being listed for twenty eight dollars on the best offer, and they did ship in a padded flat. Um, so these Levi's five two five perfect waist straight jeans are something you want to keep an eye out for, and also. Um, Wanted to say it's because they have like a stretchy band around the waist. And I'm always telling you guys the shaping and slimming jeans. You want to look out for those. All right. Next up, we have a brand that I absolutely love. And this is the first one of its kind I've seen since Pennsylvania. Keith and I used to find these at the Goodwills in Pennsylvania. Not in abundance. Not all the time. Very rarely. But we would find a couple pieces here and there. Um, uh, every month we'd find maybe two or three. This is the first one I've ever seen in Florida. And actually Cheryl found it. My friend Cheryl that I went thrifting with. Um, and she brought it over and said, I think this is a good brand. And I'm like, yeah, I used to talk about it all the time. I just don't see it anymore. It sold overnight. So Keith actually listed this one. He did some of the men's shirts that I brought home. Um, just to take a break from doing remotes and help me get through this huge death pile. And um, it sold overnight for $29.99. So if you ever see Nat Nast, y'all, you want to pick it up. That's what it looks like. The tag. And this did ship first class and its cost was $2.50. Okay, so now we have a J. Crew sweater. This came out of a wholesale lot. So its cost was about a dollar. It is a cashmere wool blend, which really makes it a little bit more valuable. J. Crew is an iffy brand. Some of their stuff goes for a lot of money. Some of their vintage stuff goes for a lot of money. Um, but it definitely has a following. There is a loyal following to this brand. And it does really well on Poshmark. So this is a um, Angora rabbit hair cashmere merino wool sweater. And it sold for $17.99 on a best offer, size medium. It's kind of a nice green color if you like green, I guess. And it shipped first class. Next up, we have an American Eagle Women's Pearl Snap Shirt. I got this at the Goodwill for about, I want to say, two bucks. Sorry, Salvation Army. <laughs> Getting them all mixed up, guys. I'm going to have to go get my brain examined. Okay, so this is a boyfriend fit pearl snap plaid shirt, and it sold on a best offer of $20. It's only been listed for a few weeks, so even women's pearl snaps do well. This did ship first class. Next up, we have some YMI Wanna Better Butts Capri Jeans. So these were, I believe, like $3. 
um, at the Salvation Army. <laughs> and I did grab them, um, even though they were capris, because they were $3 versus the normal $5. We paid for the full length. Most of the time, the jeans at Salvation Army start at $9.99. So you're paying five on half off day. Occasionally, you'll find some that start lower. Just depends on his pricing, I guess. Um, but the one up at Butts, I'm always talking about the full length ones. I can usually get about 25 for, sometimes 28 on Poshmark. And I always um, mark them down a little bit if they're capris. These are junior size 11. I took a best offer of 18 on these, and they did ship first class. Pilcrow and the Letterpress women's jeans. I have been finding a ton of bunch of these lately at um, Salvation Army. And I had a ton of bunch of these come from thread up boxes. This particular pair, I believe, was from a thread up box. And it sold for $34.99 and shipped first class. Um, size 32. They did not quite weigh a pound. They were pushing it at like 15.9 ounces. Um, but this Pilcro and the letterpress is a good brand. It's by Anthrop Anthropology. So I always, always grab Pilcro. These didn't even take like but a few weeks to sell. So they were they had a good sell through rate as well. And then I have some Linen Blend Boyfriend Shorts by Gap. I picked these up at a local Honey Pot thrift that Keith and I found recently for a dollar. I remember showing these in a haul video. I was excited. They had a bunch of stuff marked down up for a dollar the day we went there. These didn't take that long to sell either. Gap has a loyal following. I just don't source Gap as much as I used to because the cost of goods down here in Florida is a little bit higher and we're not finding as many dollar days or places that do dollar days as we did in Pittsburgh, but this little honey pot does once in a while. Um, these are the boyfriend roll-ups, size eight. Again, it's a mid-brand, mid-size, but it's Gap, it's linen, it's the boyfriend, which is a popular style. We paid a dollar for these. They sold for $19.99. Guys, linen is it. <laughs> these shipped first class. I'm going to show you three remotes this week in case you are out sourcing and you find a bin of remotes at the church sale, the garage sale, or the thrift store, just to kind of give you an idea if you do find the um, remotes and you're buying them, you know, one off, one at a time, what to look for. This is a dish remote and it sold for $17.99. This is a Sony RMS441 audio system. The audio system remotes do well. I keep, I think I've told you that before. I feel like I keep repeating myself sometimes, but um, these audio systems do well. And then we have a smart TV remote control here by Sony. And this sold for $34.99. All of our remotes ship first class and we pay 25 cents a pound plus shipping to our supplier for them. So that's our cost of goods on them. So you may see in our store that we sell a lot of the lower end remotes for eight, nine bucks, 10 bucks. Those are just fluff we throw into the store. There's enough of these kind that we pull out and our cost of goods is low enough that we pretty much list all of them. Um, if they comp, you know, continually like $5 and below, clearly we're not going to list it, but we make our money back usually on most of our shipments with, within like a couple of remotes. Um, and then everything else is icing on the cake. And you guys that have been watching this channel for a while know that's always like my philosophy when we get a box of remotes or a box of thread up or a whole a lot of flesh. Unless it's absolutely, utterly unlistable, like if a remote doesn't work or a plush is torn or pants have the hole in the crotch, or if it's super, super poopy brand, I list everything because I figure you pay one price for the whole box. A few pieces out of that box are going to sell and pay for your cost of goods and your shipping. And then everything else is icing on the cake. And I love filler items. I love bread and butter. Keith and I built this as a volume-based business. It always has been and it probably always will be a volume-based business. And you've got to have those lower end items and those lost leaders, as I like to call them, 
to keep your activity in your store. Um, especially like right now, people don't have a lot of money and a lot of our bread and butter items are selling right now because that's what folks can afford. But you can see clearly there are still people with money that are willing to pay $35 for a pair of jeans and $20 for a shirt. So it's good to have a mix. All right, guys, let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns in the comment section down below. Please hit the thumbs up before you leave. If you haven't already and you'd like to, please subscribe to the channel. Help us feed a hungry hippo. Join our Facebook group, Flippin' Hippos Reseller Pot. There's a link in the description box for you. Until next time, go be productive, go make some money, and as always, thank you so, so much for watching. Y'all are the best. Bye.